everyone. Welcome to week three of your ph pharmacy procedures course. Um, as I discussed last week and the previous week, we're still working on dosage calculations. Um, the first week we covered how to solve them using ratios and proportions. Last week we talked about how to use dimensional analysis. And now this week we're going to do it using what we call the formula method. <clears throat> Um, the formula method is just another way of rearranging ratio and proportion. So it's just a, a, a variation of the ratio and proportion. <clears throat> and as you can see here, um, they give you the formula, um, or I'm giving you the formula that they have in the book. They have a D, um, which is the desired or the dose prescribed. Um, they have the H, which is what we have on hand. Um, and then Q which is referring to the quantity or the volume um, and then x is what you're looking for so um, that's that's the way the book presents it um, and that's the way you'll see it in most of these slides that you're going to see today um, but they've also given you some other examples um, the first one um, ordered over on hand times vehicle equals x that's just another one that the book suggested the last one is my version so it's order over stock times dosage unit is going to give you the dose. And dosage unit can mean um, tablet. So, you know, how many milligrams in the tablets. Um, do dosage unit could be capsules. It could be per five milliliters. So it would be five milliliters, um, anything like that. So dosage unit is how the stock comes. So um, I'm going to kind of give you an example of how that works with one of mine. And then um, I'm going to leave the rest of these slides for you guys to review. Um, and if you have any questions, just let me know. So here is an example. We have an order. The doctor ordered 40 milligrams to be taken by mouth daily. And we want to know what would be the dose. So how much is taken every time they take it? That's what a dose is, right? So when we do the use the formula method, we're going to start with what did the doctor order? That's what goes on top. So in this case, the doctor ordered 40 milligrams. And then on the bottom is the strength um, based on what's, whatever's on your shelf. Remember, we cannot change what's on our shelf. It is what it is, right? So when we go to the shelf, we see this label for the fluoxetine. And it comes 20 milligrams per 5 milliliters. So the 20 milligrams goes on the bottom, because that's our stock. And the dosage unit is that 5 milliliters. That's what the medicine comes in, and it comes in a 5 milliliter unit. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and do the math. 40 divided by 20 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. So one thing to keep in mind, though, when you are using the formula method, whether you're using my version of it or the book's version of it, the, the thing to keep in mind is that your order and your stock must be the same units of measure. So if one is milligrams, the other one has to be milligrams. If one is grams, the other one has to be grams, and so on. Keep in mind this, you cannot change what's on your shelf. So in other words, just like when you're going into the kitchen to cook, you can open up the refrigerator, but you can't change what's in there, right? Unless you go to the store, you're not gonna be able to change what's in your refrigerator. So you're going to have to adjust your recipe, your order, to match what's in your refrigerator. So if you get an order in one unit of measure and what you have in stock is a different unit of measure, it's always going to be your order that you're going to adjust. You're never going to adjust your stock. Um, and again, the whole reason for that is you can't, right? What's on the shelf is what's on the shelf, always. And you can't change that. So it's very, very important that you remember that and you keep that in mind. You can always change what the doctor ordered. Um, you can change the unit of measure. Again, we're not changing the order. We're just changing the units by doing a conversion. So it's the same thing. We're just going to use a different unit of measure. So we can change that, but we cannot change what's on the shelf. So you can never change your stock or what you have on hand. Um, as usual, if you have any problems or questions as you go through the slides for this week, please make sure you let me know. You can reach me at any time um, via email, or you can also call or text. My number is 618-792-2293.
Have a great week.